So this is the landmark of Ho Chi Minh City, which is Jo Bintan. This is the place, and of course, over there is Le Loi, which is uh, blocked off right now for the New Year celebration preparation. But there are still people taking pictures here in the middle of the street. In fact, quite a few of them. Interesting. And traffic is sparse around here, but all over the place. Wow, look at this. Right depth, right depth. Hello, Ying Seung. And this is the future site of the uh, subway, which is uh, expected to, to expect to open, I believe, next year now. So red packets or hangings and all that on the tree, flowering, yellow flowering tree. Watermelon and Banjang for 2023. And over there is what looks like a parking structure, probably for the subway. And this part here is still closed off, still doing construction. And Jenny's got a an umbrella she's real Vietnamese I think we just go straight we're not 100% sure but lots of uh, as you can see these are all tourists and uh, yep tourists 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 and lots of motorbikes with little kids today this morning is the 22nd of January 2023 we are walking towards the New World Hotel where they sell there's a there's an area where they're selling a lot of these flowers we're just going to go check it out a little bit and then we're gonna walk to have lunch and that's our itinerary for now tonight we're probably going to walk to Wing Hoi to see how the new year preparation on the way is going so we are going to cross here because the flower shops are on the other side of the road Walking, walking, walking. We are across. That is the New World Hotel right in the middle of the frame there. On the right was a place where we took our first bus ride. So this is a pretty busy place. Public bathroom, Saikong Bank. This is another bus stop. Buses here, very convenient, nice and clean, and extremely affordable. We're talking usually between six and seven thousand dong, which is basically about twenty-five cents USD. So here's the flower market. We're gonna just walk and explore a little bit. And it looks like the blossom are coming out. These are the real deal here. Nice to see a lot of flowers, which is real. Wow, look at this.
they are all wrapped in plastic I think they gonna wrap it for transportation purposes and they're all budding looks like they are in great shape not sure what Jenny is asking but she likes to talk to them to see what's going on Wow, looks like a huge operation. Oh, there you go, small ones. These are all the uh, plum flowers and they are all wrapped to keep them uh, together, branches over for transportation purpose. They got big one, they got huge one, they got little ones. So they got all sizes for you to choose from. Whatever you need, whatever you need they have. Wow, looks like in great shape. I bet in a week they will be in full bloom. Some of them are already blooming a little bit. So that shows you that they are actually in good shape. And now we are going to walk over to where they sell the other flowers. These are flowers in the gardens also. These are not what's for sale. But what's on the right hand side of us as we walk down the street is you can see those are pots of yellow flowers. Basically every family will buy some. Every shop will certainly have some out front. Looks like they're not yet in full bloom some of them are just barely coming out some of them are pretty pretty well uh, bloom already yeah, people working on orchids Pretty big operation. A lot of people working on this orchid. And then here are... I am not sure what to tell you about these since I have no clue. Could be plum, could be cherry. But it looks like they are all just about ready to blossom. All in great shape, looks like. These are all shipped down from the north of the country where the climate is colder. And you can see So you can imagine when the whole whole tree is blooming, it looks just like the 
fake ones that we see all over the place but the real ones are also nice equally nice and looks like this is a regular flower shop garden all kind of different things including bonsai Here are the kumquat, like the little orange things, little trees full of fruits. Full of fruits and over there you can see that it's a sea of yellow both on the left and on the right and this is we're surrounded by yellow well, you might not see that on the camera, but uh, definitely a lot of yellows here. And this is the sort of the official color of that in Vietnam. Lots of people come here just to take pictures, not necessary to buy their food, the, the goods. But all are welcome. <coughs> These are big pots, and those are medium size and small pots too. They are all in really good shape shaped perfectly like little mushrooms and hundreds of little buds and blossoms perfect timing i think in a week this would be fantastic so they they know how to time it perfectly here This one is a little bit different, like a little football. I think Jenny will be able to tell you all the differences and about these flowers, but I can only tell you yellow flowers. Maybe they are chrysanthemums, maybe they are mums, maybe they are marigold. I really have no clue. But, uh, but they got lots of them and here's what people are set up to buy they are picking them out ready to get them shipped to whatever shop order them these are different these are nice and there's some orange ones over there and over there also different colors these red ones are pretty nice too wow flower is a big deal here almost every home would have some of these if you can I mean if you live in a little apartment like what we're doing maybe you just get a tiny one but if you have a regular home with a balcony or with a front door or anything like that you would definitely want to get a few parts of this magenta 
Santa. Hey, that must not be real. How can that? How can this? Plants have multiple colored flowers. Ah, looks like maybe they are grafted, or maybe these are not real flowers. Just like this one. This one have red and orange, and that one have sort of a white pinkish tint with red and orange. Ah, I think some things are put here and this one have all kind of colors ah I see these are not real these are fake I can't believe they're doing this they look interesting but if they're not real kind of defeats the purpose of buying a real plant ah. I guess that's what this shop does. They either graph or they tie these, I imagine, plastic flowers on. I mean, it's a novelty, but I don't know. That's a little iffy. Yeah, you can see all the wiring on that tree to shape them a certain way. And, uh, huh, this is the first I've seen this. That one over there have some orange and red. Huh. I rather just prefer single color, natural, real stuff like these. Although Chinese don't like this chrysanthemum for celebration or wedding or whatever, it's considered more appropriate for a funeral and not considered good luck. This kind of flower is not good luck according to the, to the Chinese tradition, but in Vietnam, this is all the rage. Check these out. This color just perfect. Walking on the side of the street, just a lot more yellow, and then all of a sudden you got red, you get pink. You get orange. Wow, these are really red. Almost too red. Orange balls. Well, I think you might have had enough flowers. But, uh, Zhou Hua Hua 
so that means that the flower market new year flower market for 2023 this one looks to be in great shape look at the blossoms starting to come out and with when you have hundreds of this blossom on the tree it is just fantastic now we are going to head over to where they have the mini pomelo trees and the mini orange gumquat trees it's pretty amazing stuff if you if you look at this How they can have so, how the trees can have so much fruit is pretty uh, amazing, and not just these tiny orange or kumquats, but these pumelos. Perfect for hanging those uh, little hangers that. I have on my back also just like this. Phuk Lok Sao Chun. Phuk means blessing. And that's the first character. That's what it is. Lok means prosperity or money. To means uh, longevity or long life. And Tuan means the, you have everything. Or everything's com complete. I believe that's what it is. Wow. This amazing pumlo on the tree. One tree like this probably has like I don't know 30 pumelos on it. I mean you don't buy it to eat it, you just buy it to because it signifies fruitfulness and is uh, considered good luck. There are a lot of these trees here. I imagine you buy it together with a pot. You got to be a big, uh, big household, and they have to either ship it to you or something. But there are some smaller ones. You can put it in the front of your house. This one looks nice. A lot of small blossom coming out. Oh, and this one too. And that one. That one. That one's in good shape. In a week, this would be in full bloom, and it would be so fantastic. But uh, this plum blossom is the uh, best symbol. For the for, for for the Lunar New Year, although these are big, usually we just buy a cutting or something like that for a smaller home, not a big tree like this. These are also some that are in good shape. Let me verify. Yep, they are real. They are not stuck on or tied on or something like that. I see one that is in really nice bloom. Okay. 
Well, all that is interesting, but now we are going to go and probably do some picture taking ourselves. And Jenny is talking to some tourists, and we are tourists ourselves, so I don't know how much information we can give them. So for lunch, we decided to come here, this place called New Land, and uh, have this is a famous shop and we're going to come here find a place to sit down and see what is in store Trying to figure out what to eat. Pho bò vin, pho thai bò vin, hu tiêu bò vin, bánh cung, chà chết. So this is an interesting place. There are many food stores, but the ordering seems to be consolidated. You order from the same people, and they bring you the food. Sam de Fai Three chopsticks. Interesting. And over there got some hot pastry. We'll get that for snack later. Haha. <laughs> So this is the beef stew for the bread and Jenny Man is eating the Cambodian noodle. This looks like a glass of plain water but it's actually with the uh, lemon I guess. So this is our lunch. Bon appetit! One of the things that companies do is buy gift baskets to give out to other companies or individuals or whatever so that's a big thing here so you can see all these uh, all these gift baskets gift boxes gift baskets ready to be shipped that's a pretty big business obviously that was interesting well part of the nice service for this parking is that hey if it might rain, they will actually cover up the motorbike for you. How about this parking service, hey? So when we were in uh, Bong Tao, we went to a coffee shop along the coast and, and it started to rain. And turned out that one of the, uh, or the parking attendant what he did it was when to make sure that your motorbike uh, helmet is uh, the right side up so it doesn't catch water and Jenny had a little mask there hanging they make sure that it's not getting wet and then when the rain stopped they actually went out and wiped all the seats down so they're dry so that's pretty good service just quite unexpected for sure well after dinner we are out and about this is Saigon Center we're gonna come and check out what kind of uh, New Year Chinese New Year decoration they have a little bit of lighting they even put on new chandeliers if you look up you see that with the Vietnamese hats and the uh, firecracker all the way up top pretty nice and over 
here there are some nice uh, children dead clothes Lunar New Year dead and uh, some cats here for you to take picture with and everywhere is that so this is Saigon Center and a year of the cat here is the Takashimaya New Year Happy Mail Year you see that Vietnam yep and so here is the uh, zodiac uh, horse the goat the monkey actually that's not what it says even though uh, it has a uh, an animal on each one but that's not actually what he's saying, he's saying something else. Outside Saigon Center, Chuk Man Nam Mai with the uh, Saigon Center, the Meow. Lots of people taking pictures. 2023. Well, just across from Saigon Center, the mall in uh, District 1 is Kem uh, Bakdang, which is that ice cream place that we uh, we sat at last night. So everything is very close together, very easy to walk to. This is Leiloi, and what happened is that they've closed off this street. Usually it's kind of closed off the traffic on the weekend anyway, but now they close it off to create some kind of a stage for New Year celebration. So it's totally uh, fenced off right now. and. Uh, you see that they are building some stuff here and I uh, don't know what this hopefully before we leave on the 19 on 18 we'll come by and hopefully we'll see what's going on so they put this one out and obviously this is in anticipation of the subway running um, it's not lighted up right now but uh, I think it will be you can see cables running to it and over on the left you see it's the Rex Hotel a sort of like a landmark here which is right across from the uh, you know a block down from the Opera House and in the middle of it all a circle you see the uh, fountain with the water lily or lotus but here you can see that they're beginning to build this structure here for the new year celebration and to the right of that we've walked down that street many times wing way unfortunately it's totally fenced off as of now to prepare for the new year celebration so it will be a while before, uh, maybe a week before things to, can happen, but we won't be able to do anything. We won't be able to see it here, I think. But it looks like they're building a lot of stuff. 
Uh, the best we can do is come and observe the fountain. Pretty nice. You're certainly in the center of it all, you see that over there is the sort of like the parliament house of the uh, Communist Party. And this is the Rex Hotel. Pretty nice display here. But, uh, as we walk around, you see a lot of people just hanging, chilling. A lot of motorbikes just stopping here. Take a picture or just hang tight. Not doing a whole lot. Usually during the evening, you would walk down this uh, street all the way to Bang Bak Tang, which is the sort of like the wharf or the or the uh, waterfront of the Saigon River but right now it's not possible because of the place being fenced off. Well, it looks like we're not going to be able to do too much video of that tonight. Maybe we'll just get a little bit closer, get a glimpse of what they are putting together. <laughs> Takes a little bit of getting used to to cross the street here. And it's all about the cat. Oh, it looks very interesting. Hopefully, they open it in two or three days or something like that and we'll be able to at least come and check it out before we head to Singapore. Very pretty picture here. Well, the first time <coughs> we came to Saigon or Ho Chi Minh City, I believe this is the hotel that we stay at. Right off Huynh Nguyen on this one now is called Oscar Hotel Saigon. I don't remember whether that's what it was called at that time. But uh, <clears throat> this is where we stayed at. Well, since Wing Wei is off limit for everybody, so people are coming over onto the side of Bing Bak Tang and even though this side is not as not as well lighted in terms of uh, decoration and they make all the jetties uh, they close everything off but uh, they put a lot of flowers here and a little bit of decoration not too much but everybody's out here tonight because it is a Friday night and everybody wants to come out and walk around on a Friday night. Come and take pictures, come and walk around. And you can see over there, the pub, the Magenta building. That's Landmark 81. We're going to head out there tomorrow afternoon to have uh, dinner there with uh, Ha and Vin. Alright, that's it. And oh, over there you can see the boats, the ferry boats that I believe goes to Vong Tao. We took that the first, well, we took that when we went to uh, Vong Tao for the first time, or came back from Vong Tao for the first time in, in 2018. But nowadays we just take the bus, a lot more convenient.